Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a web services directory, service, and operation uh, within the Data Virtualization Studio. You can see that I already have a directory called data and Jeff VD, but we're going to create a new one. And in this case, I'll call it REST directory because the supported protocol that I'm going to choose is only going to be a REST. I'm not going to allow SOAP. I'll give it a high level qualifier of my ID, the RDB server ID that it's going to run on, that I'm creating it on, which is JDBD. And I'll also give it its name that I'm creating it under as REST DIR. If I click the advanced tab, you also see the URL path has been created according to the name, REST DIR, and the metadata library has been built also according to the high level qualifier. And we'll leave that as is, that's fine. When we click next, uh, we see the microflow libraries that currently exist. We have to choose a microflow library or create a new one. These are the two that were created for the two directories that were out there, data and Jeff BD. I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it REST MFL. And we'll leave the library data set as is and click finish. And there we've created the directory REST DIR. We can create a service within that directory uh, and we'll call this service, I'm going to call it employees because I'm going to, uh, it, it will be a service that's going to look at an employees table, virtual table. So we'll call it employees. And we'll click next. And it's going to be a data integration REST only. The others are grayed out because of how we created the directory as REST only. The virtual directory that I'm going to point it towards is going to be an employees table. Next, I'm going to name the operation. At, at this point now, we're to the level to where we're creating, we've created the service name employees, but now we're going to name the operation. And this operation, I'm going to just label uh, get all, because in the SQL statement, I'm just going to select all the fields from the employees table and leave it as is by default as a SQL statement that came up. Here's the result set. It has all the fields in the result set and that's what I want to see. So I'm going to leave that as it is. When I say finish, you can see that it has created uh, the employee's service and the operation under there is get all. And then you can run this service Restfully, uh, and it will get all the employees, uh, all the data records from the employee service. That's it. It's that simple.